It all began on the 16th of November 2015, when Norway's ominous child protection services, known as Barnaverne, forcefully removed Ruth and Marius Bodnariu's five children, including their three-month-old baby, from their care. Barnaverne not only separated the Bodnariu children from their parents, but also from each other, placing them in two separate foster homes. Believing it was all a big mistake, Romanian-born Marius and his Norwegian-born wife, Ruth, cooperated with authorities in the hope that this huge misunderstanding would surely be resolved and their children returned home. Much to their bewilderment, the nightmare had only just begun. They were being accused of child abuse in the form of religious indoctrination, resulting from the children being overheard singing a Christian song at school. Devastated and heartbroken, Ruth and Marius turned to their local church and family. Upon hearing of this terrible atrocity, Christian communities from all over the world took to the streets, often in freezing cold conditions, to demonstrate their support of the Bodnariu family, request the immediate return of their children, and call for the reform of Barnaverne. As a result of the Bodnariu family's courage to stand up for their children, a multitude of parents, who also find themselves in a similar predicament in Norway, have surfaced. Silenced by the intimidation tactics imposed by Barnaverne and initially too afraid to speak out, these families are now taking heart and joining forces to stop this organisation from continuing its sinister practices. They are desperately praying for the return of the Bodnariu children in the hope that this will set the precedent for ending their own traumatic nightmare and being reunited with their own children. In today's day and age, it is difficult to fathom that the very organisation established to protect children is actually causing more harm than good. It defies all logic and boggles the mind. Statistics indicate that only 10% of children removed from their families in Norway are taken as a result of serious abuse or neglect. The other 90% of children are believed to be seized as a result of a lack of parental skill, with parents being dubbed unfit. Arguments for child removal include ridiculous observations such as bread slices being cut too thick by parents, or omelettes not being made to the satisfaction of the CPS psychologists. Recent research indicates that 73% of children in Norway's foster care system have psychological issues and are eight times more likely to commit suicide than children in parental care. Of utter outrage is the fact that Barnaverne has no independent regulatory body governing its activities. All investigations, counsel and lawyers are in-house, meaning that Barnaverne is self-regulated and answers to no one. According to Marius Rakaris, a Norwegian lawyer, the lack of Barnaverne's transparency means that parents are left with almost no chance of winning a court case. They are left with virtually no visiting rights, with as little as one hour a year. Since seizing the Bodnariu children, the family has only been together once. Is it really possible that Norway, a country with advanced democratic principles, can so grossly abuse its power? In 2015, 170 of Norway's own child protection service professionals signed a petition expressing grave concerns for the aggressive and intrusive nature of the Norwegian system. Numerous Norwegian lawyers are adamant that basic human rights are being violated and crimes against humanity are being disguised as child protection. To date, almost 60,000 people have signed a petition requesting the return of the Bodnariu children. Despite this, Norway and Barnaverne remain silent. The very secrecy of Barnaverne renders it guilty. We are absolutely outraged that a system claiming to protect children is so significantly flawed and demand that Barnaverne be stopped. Thousands of children's lives are in the hands of this organisation. If there is any shadow of a doubt regarding Barnaverne, you and I have the responsibility to call for action. Whose children will suffer at the hands of Barnaverne next? Let your voice rise up with the nations and let the silent cries for help of the Bodnariu children be heard today. Please join the International Day of Protests in your city on the 16th of April and please sign the petition at the website shown on your screen. Please help the Bodnariu family and other families bring their children home.